around here, I know there's winkles. Come with me as we do a little bit of foraging along the shoreline. Let's go and have a little scout around. What we have here is what's called the sea slater, Lygia oceanica. And these look very much like woodlouse, but these can grow up to 30 millimetres in length, so they're quite substantially bigger than your average woodlouse. Its colour may vary from grey to olive green, depending on the temperature and the time of day. You usually got large compound eyes and long antenna, but these, as you can see, they're hidden away. They thrive in uh, temperate waters. You can find them anywhere from Norway to the Mediterranean Sea. And you'll find them in the littoral zone, where it's rocky, uh, where there's rock pools and crevices and under stones. And they're nocturnal omnivores. So that means that they, they eat all sorts of things like seaweeds, diatoms and debris. They're particularly fond of bladderwrack, which is a type of algae or seaweed. And as you can see all around this coastline in the rocky areas, there's plenty of bladderwrack. Some of the other traditional names it's known by are rock rack, um, black tang, rockweed, bladder fucus, sea oak, black tanny, cutweed, just to name a few. Vesiculosus supports few colonial organisms but provides a canopy and shelter for the tube worm. Also, it offers a surface grazing for snails and the fronds here can grow up to 90 centimetres in length and about one inch wide and have a prominent midrib throughout. It has an almost spherical air bladder which are usually paired one on either side of the midrib but this may be absent in younger plants. These limpets have a real earthy taste to them. This one, as soon as you move them like that, they just stick and go in solid so that it makes it hard for them to come off the actual rock. But uh, treat them, all you need to do is one quick, sharp, and off they come. And you can see there the foot of the uh, Limpet. That's the part that you eat. So you boil this up and the way you can eat them is you can stick them on a the fire, like so. Or you can cook them upside down. And then you eat the, the foot part there. And at the top here there's like a sack and that's the stomach and that you discard. But there's plenty of limpets along this shoreline. The only thing to really be cautious about is um, the area where you actually, I'll put this little baby back the only thing that you really need to be cautious about is whereabouts on the coastline you're taking these from if there are any nuclear plants around or anything like that, mining plants then you need to be careful if there's any sewage flowing out from anywhere around the vicinity and these, not so much uh, like other filter feeders, these aren't such a big of a problem, but they can be a problem. That's you're trying not to try not to break the shell. So one, one swift from the side, from the side, and it one swift. Wait. As soon as you move it, like that, it's stuck. You see? That come off. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. All right, and then there's one. And it there. goes. Yeah. I'm going to just move all these rocks out of the way. Is that a decent size though? Because you only want the decent size ones. Yeah. That looks like a decent size. Right. right. There you go. That's it. That's how you do it. Right. And then I saw some decent ones over there. Yeah. Yeah. Are they decent, Dad? They're a bit small, them. So Alright. Yeah, they're a bit small, them. We'll leave them on. Alright. I'm going to search for oh, There's a big one over there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll Just leave over there. loads. Ooh. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> right, are these decent ones, Dad? Oh my gosh! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Yep. It's decent. Seven. Hey Grace got all oh, the buckets there. I'll get the bucket. Okay. Okay. Got one. Mm. 
Oh, oh. Ready? One. You want to do it in one? Right, wait. That, that's oh. going to be stuck now. You'll break it. Yep. Might as well leave that one now. What is this one, which is yeah. big? Oh. It let out a gas. Did it let out a liquid that makes some stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what we do. So, one strike. If you get them with the second one, you're lucky. There's an abundance of these little babies. And these for you, for those who don't know, these are winkles. The coastline's shroom with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. They're spread all over the place. All good eating. Tons of kelp. I'm not sure which type of kelp this is and whether it's edible, so I'll leave that alone. But there's tons of these winkles, winkles, periwinkles. So the common winkles are a species of edible whelk or sea snail. They're an intertidal species with a dark and sometimes banded shell. In this type of environment they do really really thrive and we've harvested quite a bit today and done really really well Ooh, not too shabby i think it's a, i think that's a dead ski one i'm not sure is it i think it is dead that down uh. it? yeah it's dead yeah. Let's have a look at the size of that limpet. That is just absolutely huge. That is huge. That is going on the pot. That is going in the pot. I'll look at this. It's huge. Yeah. Or is it? It's a crab. Okay, I'm not in the shrimping business. Where did it go, that shrimp now? So today we managed to collect over a period of say two hours, we managed to collect enough limpets, uh, enough sea snails or whelks or winkles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we managed to find some bladder rack, uh, we didn't quite put that in the pot. There was a few shrimp around so there's enough to eat and uh, some good fun was had. So if you like this little episode, please like, subscribe and press the notification bell and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye for now.